Submarine is a ship that moves under the surface of the water, generally used for military purposes and interests. Most of the Navy has and operates submarines even though the number and population in each country are different. Apart from being used for military purposes, submarines are also used for marine and freshwater science and for working at depths unsuitable for human divers. Germany has a submarine that is popularly known as the U-boat which is a summary for the Unterseeboot, began to be commissioned in World War I as a, a deadly weapon for the opposing navy especially in World War II. So it is known as the U-class. Apart from Germany, a popular country using submarines as the main force of the navy is the Soviet Union, Russia one of the other diving equipment is the diving bell. Although submarines float easily, they are able to dive to the bottom of the ocean and remain in deep water for months. The secret lies in the distinctive construction of the double wall of the ship. Special watertight spaces, or ballast tanks, between the outer and inner walls can be filled with seawater thereby increasing the overall weight and reducing its buoyancy. By pushing the propeller forward and steering blade direction flat down, the ship dives. The steel inner walls are able to withstand tremendous pressure at depth. Once in the water, the ship maintains its position with the help of tanks ballast along the keel. To rise to the surface, the submarine expels water from the ballast tanks. Periscopes, radars, sonars and satellite networks are tools the main navigation of the submarine. While floating on the surface, a submarine is said to be positively buoyant. The ballast tanks were barely filled with water. While diving, the ship gains negative buoyancy because the air in the ballast tanks is expelled through the air valve to be replaced by water that enters through the flood hole. To drive on a constant depth, the submarine uses a technique of balancing with what is called neutral buoyancy. In this technique, Pressurized air is pumped into the ballast tanks sufficiently, and the flood holes are left open. To rise to the surface, compressed air carried on the ship is pumped into the ballast tank, so the water comes out. The most advanced submarines make their own fresh water from seawater. There is also a reserve of air produced by electrolysis, a liberating process oxygen from fresh water. When near the surface, the submarine can take in air and release exhaust gases through a closed snorkel which opens above the water surface. Apart from the periscope, radio aerials, and other masts, several snorkels protruding from the superstructure, or conning tower. The air is monitored daily to ensure adequate oxygen levels. Air is also channeled through the filter which removes any impurities. Exhaust gas out through a separate pipe. Submarine is a ship that moves below the surface of the sea. To be able to operate in water, the working principle of submarines uses certain techniques to sink and float below the surface of the water. So how do submarines work? The first submarine was discovered by a German named Cornelis Drebbel. Drebbel built the ship in the form of a leather rowing boat which can be submerged underwater to depths of up to 4.5 meters. Next is David Bushnell, an American inventor who also built submarines that were used during the United States War of Independence. Then the American inventor another, namely Robert Fulton built a similar ship, but smaller and later named the Nautilus which had explosives. This type of ship is increasingly being developed by other inventors who test ships powered by steam, gasoline, and batteries. And finally at the beginning of the 20th century, diesel-powered submarine found. The diesel engine is capable of propelling the ship under the surface of the water. Then found a submarine powered by an electric motor with a battery as an energy source. This diesel-electric ship was used during World War I and the War World II. Then the US Navy used a nuclear-powered submarine named USS Nautilus for the first time in 1954. Submarines have two different functions, which are designed to be able to run on the surface and below the surface of the water. The mechanism of the submarine can float, that is due to a displacement system that will make water come out and make room for objects that will enter the water. This is related to the laws of physics, which states that if an object enters the water then there are two pressures that will affect it, the pressure is gravity and buoyancy. 
The working principle of a submarine underwater is by applying Archimedes' law, which states that an object can be said to float in water if the object's buoyant force is it is equal to the weight of the object. This is also related to the principle of floating objects, namely the density of objects is less than the amount of water that moves. The same thing is also explained in Boyle's law. It is stated that if the gas in a closed room is kept constant, then the pressure is inversely proportional to the volume. By utilizing these two principles, submarines can stay still, float and sink in water. The way a submarine works when it is floating is when compressed air is blown into the ballast tanks. The air in the tank will cause the overall density of the submarine to be less than the density of seawater. This position causes the submarine to have positive buoyancy. Unlike when a submarine sinks, it means that water enters the ballast tanks through the opened vents. This seawater will force the air out of the tank. The effect is that the density of the entire ship is heavier than the density of the seawater around it. Submarines also get negative buoyancy and sink or are below sea level. The workings of a submarine depend on the air cavity in the body of the submarine which functions as a place for water or air to enter and exit. The cavity located in the ship's hull is equipped with valves or doors at the top and bottom. When the submarine is afloat, the cavity is filled with air, so that the volume of water displaced is equal to the weight of the ship. Then, according to Archimedes' law, the submarine will float. If the upper valve cavity and the lower valve cavity in the submarine cavity are opened, the air in the vessel cavity comes out and water enters to fill the cavity. As a result, the relative density increases and becomes heavy, and the ship begins to sink. Later, the valve will be closed when the ship has reached the desired depth. Then, when the submarine is about to surface from a sinking state, the water in the cavity will be pumped out so that it is filled with air. Furthermore, the submarine will experience a buoyant force that can equalize the weight of the submarine. Thus, the ship rises and floats on the surface submarines have certain limitations when diving. If the ship dives too deep, the ship can be destroyed because the hydrostatic pressure is too great. If the ship is damaged at the bottom, a shipyard will be used. The shipyard will be sunk and the ship put in. Furthermore, the shipyard is floated. The shipyard is sunk and floated by injecting and removing seawater in the reserve space. The principle of a shipyard is broadly the same as that of a submarine, where the way it works depends on the amount of water in the spare room.